Hi, my name is Rachel Lloyd, and I'm the founder and president of GEMS, Girls Educational and Mentoring Services. Uh, I founded GEMS in 1998. I came to the U.S. in 1997, um, originally working as a missionary with adult women coming out of the sex industry. And within the first few weeks of, of getting to New York and going to Rikers Island and going out to Hunts Point and on the streets, I began to meet really young girls, uh, 12, 13, 14 year old girls, some of whom were in an adult prison um, and had been told to say that they were 17, 18, 19 by their pimps. And children, literally, on the streets of New York who were being bought and sold um, by adult men to adult men. And I was 22 when I came here at the time. I'd gotten out of the sex industry myself when I was 19. And so, you know, had only been out really three years, but really just saw so much of my own experiences in the girls that I was meeting, even though the, uh, you know, we were from completely different countries and cultures and continents. Our stories of growing up, you know, with a, with a challenging, family life and a dysfunctional kind of home. Um, our stories of, you know, running away or, or meeting somebody who we thought could make things better for us. Our stories of, you know, the shame and the stigma that accompanied our experiences in the commercial sex industry looked the same, despite the fact that when I was exploited, it was in uh, Europe and, and the girls I was meeting were, were being exploited in the Bronx and Brooklyn and East New York and all over the city. Um, and so I just felt a really strong connection to these, these little girls and young women that I was meeting. And I didn't have a lot to offer at the time. Um, all I could really say was I got out and you can too. And I would share my story and talk about my experiences with my pimp. And at the time I didn't even really understand that that had been a pimp. I didn't have the language for that, but I knew I'd had a really abusive boyfriend who'd taken my money every night. And then fairly quickly within the first few months, I began to have a context and, a, and an understanding of what had actually happened to me. Um, and I was able to, to share that and relate that to the girls and young women I was working with. And so a year after getting here, I started GEMS and literally started on my kitchen table and girls were sleeping on my couch and eating my food and borrowing my clothes and never bringing them back. And you know, the, those first kind of couple of years was, there were no resources. I mean, the way that girls were treated um, in the criminal justice system, by service providers, by the child welfare system, I mean, they were seen as teen prostitutes. Um, they were seen as bad girls, dirty girls, you know, girls who'd made a choice, uh, despite the fact that they were 11, 12, 13 years old. And so I felt compelled um, to start something for them. And I didn't know enough to really know about kind of a, a nonprofit. So I taught myself um, and I learned about budgeting and, and program planning and all of those kind of things. And so, you know, 18 years on, GEMS is the largest service provider to sexually expo commercially sexually exploited and domestically trafficked girls and young women. We serve girls and young women ages 12 to 24. Last year, we served uh, 437 girls and young women, which is a, a far cry from, you know, the 10 girls I was serving year one in, in my one bedroom apartment. Um, we actually have housing now for girls so that they don't have to sleep at my house anymore. And we've been able to create a really comprehensive program um, for girls and young women and simultaneously change the way that trafficked girls, uh, particularly low-income girls of color, particularly uh, girls who've been in the child welfare system, girls who've been in the juvenile justice system, girls who don't warrant very high on anybody's priority list. We've been able to change the way that those girls are seen and treated within the system and within culture. Um, and so that's been kind of the journey of GEMS over the last 18 years. I'm incredibly proud of the work that we've been able to do with our young women and, and really feel incredibly blessed that I've been able to take my own experiences and turn them into something uh, positive and something that is really about, you know, empowering the next generation of girls and young women.